Kenya's capital is changing as a result of the 600 million Nairobi Expressway. It is one of the fastest growing cities in Africa, and with that title, there are great projects that are changing people's lives in the country. It's unusual to see Africa boosting of new infrastructure and projects all at once. This is because Africa has long struggled with underdevelopment in comparison to existing international standards. Furthermore, step by step, we are seeing our city transform into a beautiful place to live, work, and relax. The Mombasa Nairobi Expressway, also known as Nairobi Mombasa Highway, is a proposed four lined toll highway in Kenya. The highway will link Nairobi, the capital and the largest city in Kenya, to Mombasa, the largest seaport in the country. The new highway is expected to cut travel times between the two cities from the current 6 to 10 hours to approximately 4 hours. Before we continue, we would love to welcome everyone, especially those visiting us for the first time. With African Reloaded, you are saved and have no doubt when it comes to learning. Do you want to know more about Africa? Well, don't worry, we are changing the narratives of the motherland through YouTube videos. One video at a time, it's time for Africans to tell their own stories. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. All of our videos are aimed at educating, informing, reporting, criticizing, and ranking everything in Africa. Kenyan officials describe the expressway as an essential infrastructure project that will spur modernization. The partially elevated highway was proposed about 10 years ago. But the delay meant it was only launched in October by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yet the speed of the construction is leaving many Nairobians surprised. The city is already appears to be slashed in half and constant hums of construction noises, lorries whipping up the streets and beeping cars hunting all add to the confusion. However, it has been financed and constructed by the China Road and Bridge Corporation and the Chinese firm who operate the highway under a public or private partnership. This means the 4 to 6 lane dual carriageway with 10 interchanges along the road will not be free to use. Drivers will reportedly have to pay a toll between 2 to 3 dollars per day. The aim of improving Nairobi's road seems like a lootable cause, but some argue could actually exasperate the city's traffic problems and the huge social economic divide. Most residents use Matatu's private pimped-up minibuses or Boda Boda motorbike taxis to travel to and from work. However, it's unclear whether these modes of transportation will be able to afford the tolls required to allow the elite to zoom past them above. Another bone of contention is the environmental impact of the project. The focus internationally has been on Nairobi's famous fig tree, saved by the president after an outcry. I am sure we would all love to know why a giant fig tree won over the president. Yet hundreds of other trees are being felled to make way for the new road. And campaigners have little faith that any will be replanted and will also mean that permanent loss of some green areas and destructions of bird habitats. Many see it as a destruction of the legacy of Kenyan's Nobel Peace Prize winner, Wangari Maasai, who famously stood up to the major governmental-backed development in Nairobi. This highway project is the latest in Kenya's Chinese-backed infrastructure splurge in recent years. They took the standard rail route from Nairobi to Port City of Mombasa in 2019, a six-hour journey in comfort, though the ticket prices and check-in process made it feel more like flying. The 3.2 billion Chinese building and financing railway project was meant to link the coast of Navasha, a 76 kilometer northwest of Nairobi, and then to Uganda's capital, Kampala. But this has now been suspended because Kenya failed to secure funding from the Chinese to complete the line. For now, construction work is on hold until the finances are sorted out. Kenya is now massively in debt to China as a result of the standard rail route, with Chinese loans accounting for 21% of its external debt. It has left some wonder about the wisdom of the Nairobi Expressway. However, no matter the cost to Nairobians, it seems this project will get finished. In fact, the Chinese company has announced it will open six months ahead of schedule, just in time for Kenya's next presidential election in 2021. We've come to the end of our video. I'm sure Nairobi's Expressway did not surprise you. You must have enjoyed our content package. While hoping you did, Please give us a thumbs up by hitting our like button, sharing, subscribing and turning on the notification for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more educational videos.